Hello. Well, I have spoken about the hostilities going on between Gaza, or Hamas rather, and Israel in a previous video. But I'm afraid I have to return to that subject, although I'm going to be talking more about what's not said than what has been reported. So bear with me. This might be an interesting sideline on the MSM, as if anyone watching this video actually trusts the MSM in any way. Look, first of all, on Saturday the 15th, there was a demonstration and it was attended by, there are different numbers, it seemed like quite a, a well attended demonstration, that, that's for sure, and the star of the show was Jeremy Corbyn. Now I, I shall put a picture up here of uh, Jeremy Corbyn making his speech. Hang on a minute, I've got a nice one here. Sorry about the cut there, I, yeah, I, I did have to save the picture. Okay, so first of all, a couple of things happened. The uh, pro-Palestinian demonstration progressed from Hyde Park to the Israeli embassy in Kensington on a Saturday. On a Saturday. Now, even a retarded five-year-old knows that uh, Jews take Saturdays off. So the embassy was probably empty. Uh, and I don't see why they had to walk there. But anyway, I'm sure the Israelis were sitting at home in their own home, celebrating their Sabbath and quaking in their boots about the demonstration that was going on at their office where they weren't. Right, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you see this nice picture of Jeremy Corbyn, arm upraised. What they don't show is this picture, which is how close he is to a large blow-up effigy of, I suppose, Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, who is one of the big leaders from the United Arab Emirates, who are not backing Hamas in their latest aggression. And yes, it is Hamas aggression. They were the ones who started lobbing the rockets first at, I might say, Iran's instigation. But, you know, how far back can you go? All right. So this, so I'm going to show you, this is the picture of how close he was to this image. And here's a better picture of the image, which shows the sheikh uh, with a, um, a an exaggeratedly hooked nose and horns you know, like devil horns, I suppose, which is probably about the most racist depiction of an Arab I could have ever seen. Of course, that appears to have been scrubbed from the internet because I it took me ages to find that. OK, so here we have a racist rally um, of one sort or another, a rally which goes to have a shout at Israelis, or Jews really, who aren't there, a rally which actually ended up in the injury of several policemen, so mostly peaceful, I suppose, and a rally in which there was a racist depiction of uh, an Arab. And Jeremy Corbyn made a very stirring speech next to it. OK, so that's the bit that's not reported there. Now I'm going to tell you about what's reported on about a subsequent demo which took place the day after when a group of, uh, it seems, Pakistanis made the long journey from the north of England to parade their cars down the Finchley Road through St John's Wood and Golders Green and... Um, well, all of these are area. All of the areas I mentioned are areas where it's well known there is quite a large Jewish population. OK, so I'm going to play this video. Now, the video I got was on a Twitter feed. So I've taken the screen capture of it. I'm going to some of the words I couldn't get, but the words I did get, I'm going to um, subtitle here. So uh, you may need some help in in getting what they're saying, and I don't want you to miss anything. So here we are. Stop the 
Now, what we have here in this, one of the most civilised countries in the world, is a group of people suggesting that, now uh, there's a word I can't use out loud here, so what am I going to say? That revenge assault is the best way to put forward a political argument. How about that? Now, uh, that's obvious, and I looked for that, for a video of that on YouTube, and I didn't find very much. Certainly, I didn't find anything from the BBC or Sky or any of those. I did find a couple of, of isolated postings. One of them was from BuzzFeed. There were two or three. So this is what the BBC website say. Uh, this is, I haven't found a video of it, just this report. Police have arrested four men in connection with a video which appeared to show anti-Semitic abuse being shouted from a car in North London. That is all it says. There, there is more, as you can see from these clips, but they don't say what these people said, just that it was anti-Semitic abuse. But it was a bit more than anti-Semitic abuse, wasn't it? Right. Um, what does the, well, the Lancashire Telegraph says, Boris Johnson has con condemned acts of shameful racism as police investigated video appearing to show anti-Semitic language being shouted. Again, there is nothing about what they actually said. And now we have Sky News. PM condemns shameful racism as police probe video of anti-Semitic abuse shouted from convoy in North London. OK, and what does it say? Ah, footage circulated appearing to show anti-Semitic abuse. The Metropolitan Police confirmed they're carrying out urgent inquiries. Uh, officers are carrying out urgent Again, nothing of what they said. The MSM are deliberately muffling this. The only two papers who actually do report what was said are the Mail. And the Mail, just if you look at this headline here, the Mail just give a, uh, a cut down version. And then they give the actual words only much lower down in the article here. I'll, I'll put it here. And the Evening Standard, they actually, they also report what is said. So there's a very much a playing down of this. And that's quite disturbing in itself, because if, for instance, those guys had been white and they had been voicing the same uh, well, if they had been saying the same things with regard to the Pakistani population, there would have been roiling outrage, wouldn't there? And I just wanted to draw all of this to your attention. Oh, oh, by the way, I, something I forgot. The police. Why didn't they do anything about this? I mean, this was going on for hours and the police actually uh, appear to have arrested them only after they'd gone through St. John's Wood, the Finchley Road and, uh, and Golders Green. Why weren't the police jumping into action? I'm quite sure if a, a group of white men had done a similar thing, waving Union Jacks and shouting the same words about the Pakistanis and their daughters, they would have been stopped within minutes. There's definitely something very bad going on. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com 
and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.